Hey Capricorn, welcome to your reading for July 2021. This is actually going to be a general love reading and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. And keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because it is a general reading. All right, Capricorn, let's see what is going on with you in a love connection for the first half of July 2021. So for the situation, we have the Three of Pentacles crossed by the world. Okay, so it could be that you're trying to close out a cycle here. You're trying to end something. And I feel like you're working towards something, something different, possibly trying to... It, it might be concerning a third party situation for some of you. Um, for others of you, it might be concerning um, trying to end something a connection here where it may have felt like there was not enough collaboration that the other person possibly or maybe this is their energy um, it, it's almost as if there was not teamwork between the two of you we'll see more when we clarify let's see the recent past we have the four of pentacles and in the near future we have the knight of swords okay so there's definitely some action that is coming up i feel like somebody may have been a little bit stubborn in the past or possibly if this is you you were holding on to something or it could be them all right um it's still not clear yet so let's see what your energy is we have the six of swords for them we have the five of swords more about you we have the king of wands for them we have the fool i actually feel like this is the first time i'm seeing the fool um this time around <laughs> for for july and potential outcome here is the moon all right capricorn i feel like you're moving away from a situation you're trying to, you're either trying to release a situation or you're just trying to leave it in the past. Kind of like, you know what? The past is the past. The past was painful. You know, I'm done with that and I'm moving towards something that is going to be more peaceful. Okay. And I feel like you're actually doing a very good job at that. You're really feeling confident. You're moving forward. You're making that happen. You're overcoming this challenge. I actually feel like the most difficult part of this situation that you find yourself in is in the past um for them there's something here that uh, they were either there's some either some deception that is going on with this person or that was going on with this person we'll see more when we clarify but whatever the case i see this person taking a leap of faith taking a risk taking um some kind of a jump forward Possibly in a new direction. We'll see. Because it could be towards you, actually. And I don't know if you're going to be expecting it, but that's what's showing up here. Especially having the Knight of Swords in the, in the near future. This is definitely some action, and I feel like it's coming in pretty quickly. Alright, but we do have the Moon in the potential outcome here, so it could be that there are still things that are not resolved yet. Certain... Um, issues that are still kind of lingering um possibly something is being hidden we'll see whatever the case i mean with the four of pentacles being in the past in the recent past i do feel like whatever it is that you're moving towards right now it feels new to you because i do feel like there was this sense of holding on to this in the past so let's see, let me clarify the Three of Pentacles with the world. The Page of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the Hermit. 
Yeah, okay, so if this is you, you're definitely trying to distance yourself from a situation that was weighing very, very heavy on you. And I feel like you're really um, beginning to take action. Again, it feels like this is new action that you're taking. Trying to see things from a very logical perspective. And I feel like, again, like the situation here is that you feel like there was not... It's almost like this person felt like they were not responding. Like to you, you know, like you were, you know, possibly doing um, something or putting in the work and then you just, you, you weren't feeling like that was being reciprocated. Maybe this person was ghosting you. Maybe, um, you know, they were just ignoring you in some way. Whatever the case is, or maybe there was a third party involved. I feel like you're, you're ready to leave this behind, at least for now. And for some of you, it could be that you're feeling like this is just definite, you know, forever. Um, and for others of you, maybe it could just be for now until you see, you know, what, where, which way you want to go ultimately. At the moment, though, you are moving away from this. Let's clarify the Six of Swords in your energy. Five of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, definitely. You're you're like really blocking this out. You're like, you know what? I'm just not dealing with this anymore. I'm ready to move in a new direction here. And although it does bring you some sadness, I feel like again, like what you're really doing is just leaving the past in the past. At least that's what you're making a big effort towards. I feel like, you know, you even thinking about the past, that brings you sadness as well. And you feel like, you know, you need to protect yourself. And because you want to protect yourself, because you don't want to go back to something that brought you so much pain, you're just, you know, completely, completely blocking it out and moving, moving forward. Let's clarify the King of Wands. We have the Ace of Swords and the King of Cups. You're doing a very, I feel, a very good job at the moment when it comes to finding your emotional stability, taking action, like, like real action towards making sure that you are going to be okay emotionally. Again, so it does come through as really trying to protect your emotions, really trying to protect your heart. But at the same time, I, I mean, there could be a little bit of defensiveness with this. Um, so do make sure that, you know, you have healed your wounds or that you are still healing them and not just ignoring them. But I do get that for the most part, you are also healing them. And I feel like, there's a big chunk of that that has already been healed and is being left in the past. And this is what is helping you to move forward, okay? But this is just um, a little message for some of you to just be sure that you're not, that you're not just ignoring the pain, all right? And that you're actually processing it in order for it to be healed. Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see the Five of Swords. Alright, so they have the Fool again, the Chariot, the Six of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Alright, interesting. Yeah, this person is definitely trying to take some action. I, I'm just really strongly getting that it's in your direction. This person is missing you a lot. I don't know what it is that happened between the two of you. Um, I do feel that there was a, that you were holding on to this for a long time, and now that you're you're ready to move on, and that you've already begun your healing process from this, this person now all of a sudden wants to come back, back in, 
um, it's almost like they're feeling defeated now. Now they're feeling like they're the ones at a loss. Now they're feeling like they have been defeated. Whereas in the past, it may have been the other way around. This person is longing for you, and I feel like they're wanting to really come, come towards you in order to have a reconciliation with you. Um, wow, let's clarify the fool. The four of wands, the seven of pentacles, and the knight of swords again. Yeah, he, oh my god, like this movement is like really, really um, intense. It's it's strong, it's coming in fast. Almost as if this person feels like, you know, if they don't hurry up, they're gonna just completely miss the boat with you. But to be honest, I don't know if, I don't know if they're gonna make it because I feel like you're already moving on. I don't, the way that I'm seeing your energy, I don't see you wanting to go back to this, at least not now. This person is coming back in, um, wanting commitment, wanting to be able to give whatever it was that they were not giving before. If there was a third party, this person is coming back in, you know, in a way where it's like they're they're passing on the message that they're working things out, that they're figuring things out, that they're finding solutions here. But I'm getting a little bit of an impulsiveness from them. It doesn't mean that they're lying. I don't see that. Even with the Five of Swords being here, I actually don't, I don't see this as lying. I'm just not really sure if things will be as stable as they want things to be. Because the Knight of Swords, it's not... It's not that stable. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. And so, yeah, it does feel like that is their intention. I do feel like they want this commitment. That is what they want. We also have the Four of Wands. But with the Seven of Pentacles being here, I don't think that they have everything necessarily 100% figured out just yet. Let's clarify the Knight of Swords for the near future. The Eight of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, quite a bit here. It's almost like when they come in, they're going to be very, very stressed, very anxious, very nervous. I do feel like there is um, a decent amount of healing that may have been um, done on their end, um, or possibly at least having begun some real healing for whatever the situation was. But again, it feels like there's just, there's still some, um, there's still an attachment here, there's still a fear, there's still some sense of conflict that is in their lives. And I feel like they're mostly, they're mostly coming forward because they do feel that they're losing you. And this is driving them crazy. And so, yeah, I mean, there might, there might be some genuine healing here on their end. I just don't feel like it's 100% ready. Okay, that's all I'm saying here. So let's see the moon for the potential outcome here for the first half of July. All right, the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, and Temperance. I do get that this person is genuine. I do get that this person wants to find the balance, um, that they do want things to heal. They want this connection to heal. There is love here. There's definitely this um, longing and this wish to have this happiness and fulfillment, this love with you. 
I do pick up that this is that this is genuine, um, and I also do get that there is that there is healing here that is happening for them. But this is let's not forget that we are clarifying the moon here. Okay, so there is still some repressed repressed issues. There are still some issues that have not come up to the surface yet to be healed. Um, and I, I mean, I do see the potential here for this person to move in that direction of healing, whatever that is. Um, and I do feel like this is what this energy here is saying. But because it is the moon, it's these issues have not fully presented themselves just yet. And that's why they cannot possibly be 100% healed. I do see this person moving in that direction, though, which is a good sign. So ultimately, you know, when this person comes in, like this Knight of Swords, <laughs> I mean, they're like rushing in, trying to save this. It's really going to be up to you. I see that you're moving in a very positive direction here. So I feel like, you know, you're going to have to think about that. That's that's going to be your own discernment to make. All right, Capricorn, if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. All right, and we have the new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Yeah, and I really feel like you have found that confidence. You really have found that confidence within yourself to finally move forward and leave the past in the past. So whatever you decide to do here, you know, follow your own intuition. The moon can also be about intuition. So definitely, definitely listen to your intuition, okay? So I'm leaving it at that. Thank you so much for watching Capricorn. Much love.